Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be showcasing how to connect your Chronosen with your mouse and keyboard. And in this video, I'm also going to be adding subtitle so you guys will be able to understand much easier because a lot of you commented in my previous video you couldn't understand what I was saying or you guys are fucking deaf for some but whatever let's get to it okay now let's get started first what you need to do is open up your Zen Studios after your Zen Studios open go to MNK settings after you go to MNK settings now what you need to do is to connect your Chrono Zen with your laptop or your PC so how to connect your Chrono Zen with your laptop or PC? Well, that's really easy. So for what you need to do is connect your short firmware wire with your Chrono Zen. It's the shortest wire you get with your Chrono Zen. And the longest USB-C wire you get with your Zen. It's, it's the longest USB-C wire you get with your Zen. And after you connect with your Zen on the right side, the longest on the right side, the shortest on above. This is for firmware. This is to install scripts on your Zen. Okay, so after you are connected uh, with your PC or laptop, what you need to do is go back to your Zen Studios and uh, click on Import Layouts. After you click on Import Layouts, what you need to do is uh, get the layouts from description from my Patreon. Get the layouts from Patreon link down in description. Uh, it's gonna include every DPI. It's already preset. You don't need to set anything. Your key binds, your uh, like your aim settings, or like your your ballistic curve. Nothing. It's all pre-done. What you need to do is just buy from description and import layout and just use it. Also. So how to like see where your layouts are? Well, that's really easy. What you need to do is click on layouts bin files dot bin. After you click on it, choose mkzenlayouts.zmk.zmk. Choose that one. Then you are going to be able to see the layouts. So that's really easy. Now let's choose my layout. I'm just going to choose the BO6. So after that's done, what you need to do is everything is set. So, how to now install your a script on your Zen? Well, go to your compiler tab, find a supported mouse and keyboard script. I already sell supported mouse and keyboard script, which is up to date with every season update. So, what you need to do is just drag and drop, and then go to Programmer. Just wait a little while. Then click on the six lines drag and drop into a slot and then press resume or program device button uh, and you can use any script bo6 r6 warzone it doesn't matter all of my scripts are supported with both mouse and keyboard so get my scripts i recommend my scripts as they are, as they are updated every season update and they are supported with mouse and keyboard okay let's get started now after that is done what you need to do is open up your game and wait a while so after your game open what you need to do is go in your game settings controller choose controller so right now i cannot choose controller as i have not plugged in my controller inside chrono zen so let's get to that point so all right so what you need to do is take your controller wire and plug it on the left side of your chrono zen and well and here we go and plugged in again and as you guys can see my controller has turned on make sure to plug in your controller on the left side it could be a playstation or an xbox controller doesn't does not matter because it works with both so after your controller is plugged in go in game well just go in game and choose controller you do not need to choose mouse and keyboard because throne zen is gonna make you use your mouse and keyboard but as a controller that's why you need the layouts plus the scripts okay now after it says controller is uh well selected so what you need to do is now well now what you need to do is 
uh, copy my settings horizontal stick maximum vertical maximum uh, dead zone just copy my dead zone aiming aim aiming my sensitivity just copy that and well everything else it's personal preference so after that's done what you need to do is just go a weapon firing range after that's done go into firing range and well now if you move your mouse and keyboard of course not gonna work because we have not plugged in our mouse and keyboard in our chrono zen so now let's get that set so what you need to do is take your mouse wire and plug it in your chrono zen this port after you plug in your mouse wire in your chronosyn port then take your keyboard wire and plug it also in the chronosyn port it should look like this firmware wire the long wire your controller mouse keyboard that's it after your chronosyn looks like this it should also uh well one second let me plug let me plug in my control uh my keyboard wire also in my keyboard as you guys can see it just turned on and as you guys can see that's green that's green and i think that should be also green okay as you guys can see it works my keyboard it, my mouse is also working with there and i can change my dpi as well now my dpi is about 6400 right now and now let's get to the game also make sure to get another mouse if you got a laptop or a PC because if you don't know like I gotta hover with my mouse and like change my screens so but it's not that important if you don't need if you don't have another mouse it doesn't matter okay as you guys can see I am able to use my mouse and keyboard well let's turn on the camera again and now let's get back and as you guys can see we can use our mouse mouse and keyboard my control is right here mouse and keyboard as you guys can see i can use my mouse uh if you feel your sense is really low just change your dpi really like about 10,000 12,000 doesn't matter uh just find a personal preference which you like so after you set it up you should be able to use your uh, mouse As you guys can see, well, now let's use our keyboard. Okay, we can move, we can crouch. As you guys can see, we can crouch, we can jump, we can jump also, and everything works. If your sense is really slow, just change your DPI and make sure to match my make sure to match my horizontal and horizontal stick and vertical stick to the max so in game it's max but just change your dpi so it should work with that so after that's done there you go now you can use your controller uh, now you can use your mouse and keyboard with your chronosyn and you need a controller also if you don't got a controller it's not gonna work you need a controller to use your mouse and keyboard make sure in game make sure in game you have choose controller not mouse choose controller not mouse because you are using controller but the controller is being used in your chronosyn but the chronosyn is using your mouse and keyboard it's really hard to understand but it's really easy to do and set up okay after that's done well that's it there's nothing more to it than that and well there's nothing more to it but also let's try to set up a script and show you guys how it looks so okay now this is my script or script get it from description right now patreon so now let's access the script okay well it's really easy to access lt menu and let's check recoil um, and legacy ar let's edit it okay so also for recoil value on your keyboard and mouse make sure to select lower recall value like if you are in controller you gotta use like 30 or 26 but if you are on 
but if you are on your mouse or keyboard just choose like about three four because that's enough to make your recoil almost zero and after you choose okay after i choose that now let's choose uh, aim assist also let's choose this polar vertical player and inverted ads let's let's make the ads speed more okay Well, we just turned on only aim assist and recoil mode, and let's now check if they are working in game. Well, let me just go back in game. Um, okay, now let's check it out. And okay, okay, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, my controller is right there, my mouse is right here and I'm holding down the aim button and as you guys can see the aim assist is active and the script is also on right now and as you guys can see the aim assist is working the values are a little high because I told you on keyboard and mouse keep the values too low because the aim assist is as you guys can see wow that's kind of sticky bro but as you guys can see make sure to keep your values lower because on keyboard and mouse if you have higher values it's going to shake a lot and the recoil is going to be responsive a lot than using a controller so after that's all done it's that's it and i i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and if you guys got any question just ask me in the comment section and get my layouts and my scripts for my patreon till then peace